Welcome. We are excited to help parents and students understand the Student Code of Conduct and the Student Handbook. The Student Handbook gives us general information concerning the district's policies, practices, and procedures. You can find both publications on our website under the Parents and Students tab. The Student Code of Conduct, which is approved by our CFIC Board of Trustees, specifies the expectations for student behavior, behavior management techniques, and any consequences for student misconduct. The information in both the code and handbook is reviewed every year by parents, students, and district personnel. Let's break down our student handbook. You can find the school calendar and the campus directory. The handbook gives us the information applying to how our school day operates. You can also find our district's vision statement, learn, empower, achieve, dream, lead. And our mission statement, the district shall maximize every student's potential through rigorous and relevant learning experiences, preparing students to be 21st century global leaders. The handbook contains important information on school matters such as attendance, admission requirements, eligibility, dress code, campus technology policies, and more. This is a helpful resource for all of us, students, parents, and staff. CFIC fosters a climate of mutual respect for the rights of others. Each and every student is expected to respect the rights and privileges of everyone. We are expected to attend all of our classes regularly and to help our school staff by reporting any acts of bullying or threats to other students. The Student Code of Conduct has five levels of misconduct. All are listed in the publication and should be reviewed thoroughly. The acts range from things such as tardiness to misconduct that could lead to expulsion. If an act of misconduct is committed, it will be classified into any of the five levels and disciplinary action will be assigned by the classroom teacher and or campus administrator. There are six factors that are considered by the administrator when assigning disciplinary action. Those are also listed in the Student Code of Conduct and should be reviewed by both students and parents. A student's principal has the final authority in most disciplinary actions. We urge you to look at all five levels of misconduct that are listed and see what infractions constitute what type of consequence. It is very important that you and your child review this information. You can find the student handbook and code of conduct on the CFISD website. With your support and encouragement, we are confident that your child will adhere to these expectations. Together, we can reinforce the district's priority goal of safe schools for all students and staff.